The week was an eventful one in the ongoing disputes in the West Philippine Sea between the Philippines and the People's Republic of China. Two of the events in this week's report involve activities in the Second Thomas Shoal, as China continues illegal activities in the internationally recognized Filipino Exclusive Economic Zone, or EEZ. The other event is the confirmation that the Philippines will pursue legal action against China for illegal activities in the West Philippine Sea that damage the environment. China is putting pressure on the Philippines in this dispute, but the Philippine government's strategy to challenge China's illegal claims appears to be moving in the direction that the Philippines were envisioning. The initial incident in the West Philippine Sea took place at the Second Thomas Shoal on May 19, 2024. This involved missions to the grounded Filipino Navy ship, the BRP Sierra Madre. The Philippines intentionally grounded the Sierra Madre to strengthen their claim in the West Philippine Sea and deter Chinese encroachment into their EEZ. The Philippines maintains a constant marine outpost on the ship, which necessitates occasional resupply and garrison rotation. The Chinese Coast Guard and Maritime Militia have consistently attempted to prevent Philippine resupply missions to the Sierra Madre. The Philippines typically uses boats to resupply the Sierra Madre, but on the 19th they attempted an airdrop from a Philippine Navy aircraft to avoid the Chinese ships. The Chinese Coast Guard deployed four rubber motorized boats and seized some of the supplies meant for the Philippine Marine contingent. Chinese personnel and rubber boats were observed breaking into and dumping the supplies in the ocean and they were also caught taking the supplies back to their Coast Guard ships. In the West Philippine Sea, China is not acting like a confident power in its position and strategy. According to Chinese state media, the maritime militia and Coast Guard witnessed at least two Philippine Marines pointing guns at the Chinese crews that were seizing Philippine provisions. The Philippine Armed Forces denied the Chinese claim, stating that their troops were acting within the rules of engagement and did not point their weapons at the Chinese personnel. The Philippine Armed Forces did add that the Marines did have to increase their vigilance and be on guard as foreign vessels were violating safe distance protocols and required the Marines to be in an on-guard orientation. Beijing's government asserted that the Philippines' actions in the South China Sea were illegal, a claim that is understandable given their definition of illegality in the region. The Philippines stated that they were able to recover most of the supplies and that the Chinese seized supplies in the water five to 10 yards from the Sierra Madre. There were also two Chinese Coast Guard water cannons used in the Second Thomas Shoal. The first was on the 19th when the Philippines were transferring sick personnel between Philippine Navy boats and a Philippine Coast Guard boat. In an apparent attempt to obstruct the personnel transfer, the Chinese Coast Guard intervened, deploying its water cannon against one of the rubber boats, and a Chinese rubber boat also rammed into it. The Chinese Coast Guard also used a water cannon against a Philippine fishing boat on May 24th in the Second Thomas Shoal but there were no reported injuries from the fishing boat. The Philippine Department of Justice stated this week that they were close to finalizing a legal environmental case against China. The Philippines have stated that they have evidence of seabed and coral reef damage in the Rosal Reef and the Escota Shoal. The Escota Shoal was the location where the Philippine authorities found evidence of the use of ground-up coral to make an artificial island. Although the Philippines did not directly accuse China at the time, Chinese vessels were present in the area and China had a practice of using grounded-up coral to create artificial islands throughout the South China Sea. The Philippines has not specified the venue where they will file the lawsuit against China, but the most likely venue would be the Permanent Court of Arbitration in The Hague. The Chinese government is unlikely to participate in the arbitration process and will likely disregard any ruling. However, the Philippines' policy is to continue highlighting the Chinese government's illegal actions, particularly the illegal activities and aggressive actions directed at the Philippines. The Chinese continue to escalate their aggression towards the Philippines, despite the Philippines' refusal to comply with China's illegal demands. The Philippine leadership persistently disseminates information about China's illegal activities. This includes broadcasting China's actions to the world media, raising the issue on an international stage such as the Shangri-La Dialogue in Singapore, where President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. gave the keynote address and highlighted China's illegal actions, or taking the illegal activities to international court. The Philippines is striving to garner global recognition for the irrational and illegal actions of China, while maintaining transparency to enable the Filipino people to comprehend the Chinese attempts to undermine their internationally recognized sovereignty.